There are so many things you take for granted when you have electricity. I wanted to show you what it's like without it post Sandy below 29th Street. This is the scene at 22nd Street and 8th Avenue on the third night of the power outage. No, that's fine. I just over. No, no, Up, oh, people are arguing over a cab. Police are out, out there. People are with their dogs and trying to hail taxis. Probably trying to get some place to stay for the night. This is looking uptown. There's a huge light on 23rd Street and 8th Avenue lighting up that, that major artery there. The Penn South Apartments, 23rd to 29th Street, have a generator, so they're all right. But everyone downtown is concerned about supplies. So we asked one store owner what's selling. Condoms are selling. We sold out of most of the condoms. This is the last that's left. Got these batteries on the, over here. We selling them loose. Got the C batteries. Water is sold out. We selling a lot of water. There's mother nature. We can't do nothing about it. They just gotta stay strong. One woman had her trusty miner's light, but can't flush the toilet. We don't have water. We don't have power. We don't have any internet. Of course, the phones and stuff like that. So um, the biggest issue is you need to have a, a neighbor that you can fill up a bucket so you can flush the toilet. <laughs> we could flush with Evian or Perrier, but we just chose to drink that instead. Dallas BBQ finally got up to speed with a generator, offering some of the only hot food available in a restaurant in Chelsea. They're all from around here. I mean, is it because it, they don't have... Um, they don't have power. They have to come here. We got a voicemail message from Con Ed that after four nights without electricity, power would be restored by Saturday at 11 p.m. God, I hope so. It would be nice to take a hot shower, drink a cold Diet Coke, and use my TV and computer. Let me know when to cross. Thank you. This is Megan Pasnick for the New York Post.